I started to make music very unconsciously because um, when I was five, six years old, every time when I watch cartoon on the TV, and because we have a big family, it's a lot of noise happening. And sometimes my uncle or someone or my grandma say, oh, it's too noisy from the cartoon. Can you turn it off the sound? So it always turn off the sound and I start to manipulate the sound from the cartoon when I was small. So I think from there, I actually started to make up music. People always talk about technology is so cold, it makes people so separate and so isolated. But I think that that's why I want to create mobile food orchestra. I want people to get in touch with each other like before the performance, start to talk to each other and start to make friends or even like just a temporary friends is fine. <laughs> so I like the kind of um, connection. It's like the music, I mean Quavers and Crotchet. Sometimes they are just a, a short time together and then they're gonna be spread away. So I think like, I like the, the moments of every, every possibilities. I think musical hero to me is um, John Cage. Because at first I really don't like John Cage because at first I thought like what he says is kind of like doesn't relate very much. But since I started to cycle, I mean commute by bicycle, I start to realize that sound are so amazing. There's a lot of sound that we create subconsciously within the people and community, but we don't really realize it, how beautiful or how ugly they are. Every day when we open up a newspaper, the headlines or whatever is always negative. To me, it's like, as a human being, like how can I make people to think positively? And how do I use technology and music to make people think uh, in a better way? Mm-hmm. <laughs>